Joel Lightbound is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. He joins me now. Mr. Lightbound, good to see you again. Thanks for being here. Good to be with you. Let's start with the why here. Why have you added these 13 groups to the list? What is it about their activities or their intentions or pronouncement that earns them a spot on the terror list? Well, uh, it's, a, it's a process that uh, with our national security agencies uh, is always ongoing uh, where we examine different groups operating uh, in Canada or having uh, members in Canada or operating across the world that we we surveil and, uh, and and our security agencies assess the, um, their, their actions and based on their assessment and the evidence and the intelligence that they gather, uh, periodically we will be adding uh, different groups to uh, ter the terrorist list, uh, different entities will be added. So that happens year after year uh, and this, at this point we're adding 13 new uh, entities as you've mentioned based on the intelligence and the evidence that our security agencies have been able to gather over the course of the last okay. uh, months and years. Tell me more about the consequences of, of being named to this, this list and, and I mean how does it restrict an organization's ability to function and what does it mean for people who may be members of these organizations? Well, there are many consequences uh, for an entity when it is listed on this group. Uh, the first one uh, is financially, it, um, it uh, requires of banks to freeze the assets of the groups. Uh, and it also um, gives more powers to our law enforcement to um, lay, well, either to lay charges, uh, terrorism, uh, uh, terrorism link charges, or to, um, counter the uh, activities of the group when it comes to recruitment, when it comes to uh, what they're posting and doing. Uh, so it gives essentially more powers to law enforcement and also to our prosecutors to lay charges. We've heard a lot about the Proud Boys. Uh, that group has been around for a while, named to the list today. Um, and they've been in the headlines recently. Why have you decided to, the government decided to add them today? Is, is there something that Canadian security forces have seen or heard that presents an imminent threat to this country? Well, I can't go into the details of uh, what's uh, what's prepared because it's uh, related to national security. Uh, so what, what's prepared by our intelligence agencies. But as I've mentioned, it's an ongoing process. Uh, and at this point, with regards to the Proud Boys, it's a, it's a group that has been under the radar, or, or on the radar, I should say. Sorry for my English. It's been a while since I last... Uh, hey, your, English is, your, your, your English is fine. It's a little rusty, but uh, it, it's been on the radar of our agencies for, for months and, and years. And I think what we've seen in the last couple of weeks has uh, revealed more of the group to intelligence agencies that's working with our Five Eyes Five Eye partners. Uh, so that's allowed them to collect the information, sufficient information, substantial evidence and intelligence so that it can pass the, the threshold set in the criminal code mm. for an entity to be listed. And once that happens, it's also reviewed by the Department, Department of Justice to make sure uh, that it meets the, the legal criteria set out in the criminal code. And that's why we arrived today um, to this determination that Proud Boys is, uh, is to be listed. The government has gone to great extent, and it, it happened again today in the news conference with you and Mr. Blair, that to look, say, look, politics plays no role in any of this. And, and you say the decision to add these groups, not a political one. Uh, but let's talk about the Proud Boys. The House of Commons just last week passed a motion unanimously unanimously passed to add the Proud Boys to the terror list. And today, you did. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, he's claiming credit for that. He's thanking Canadians who pressured the government to take action against the Proud Boys. But you're saying there's no connection there, no politics. It's just mere coincidence, the timing of Proud Boys being named to the list. Essentially, yes. I mean, I understand why, given what we've seen um uh, namely after uh, January 6 and the uh, in insurrection uh, mob that we've seen take over or, or the Capitol in, in Washington, that it's th this organization has garnered a lot more attention and from politicians and media, but it uh, does not take away from the fact that we've been uh, surveilling and assessing the activities of this group for months and years now. And this is uh, the, what, what the motion in the House although I understand the sentiment where it comes from, has no bearing on the legal decision that was made and announced today. But, but you, you would agree that the timing is, is certainly interesting. Uh, if Proud Boys have been on the radar for some time and suddenly 
uh, there they are with the, the, the attack on the Capitol in Washington and some of their other pronouncements, and suddenly they're on Canada's terror list. Uh, but that's just a coincidence. Well, it's it's there. I mean, what 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 we've seen happen in the last couple of weeks has allowed our agencies to gather trove of uh, information, of evidence, and and of intelligence on this group that that's that's helped us in our assessment. But it's uh, it's also, I mean, it, it's a group that was on the radar of security agencies for for years now. Mm -hmm. So it's not um, to, to us. It's it's it's. It's never, uh, and it should not be a political decision. It's always got to be a legal decision based on the evidence that our security agencies uh, garner and provide to us, and and then based on the legal assessment whether it passes the threshold in the criminal code. And that's what has guided us today for the Proud Boys, but also for the twelve other uh, organizations that are listed today. Okay. And uh, and that's what that's how it should be. And I I would also say that to us. Uh, Due process is important. It's important that um, you know we protect Canadians on the one hand, but that we also protect the rights of Canadians. Uh, and there are recourses when an organization is named on this list. Uh, for once, they can uh, appeal to the federal court for judicial review. The list is reassessed every five years to make sure that any entity that is listed is justified to be on the list based on the evidence and the intelligence. So there okay. are uh, mechanisms to make sure that these decisions uh, always are based on sound legal uh, criteria and sound intelligence and, and, and evidence uh, and not politically motivated. Just have about uh, 20 seconds or so left, but a quick answer if I can. What's to stop these groups from just reforming under another name? Well, we can uh, trust our uh, intelligence agencies, and I want to thank them as well for the work that they're doing, uh, that they will be, as they always are, monitoring uh, any threats posed by uh, by the groups that are listed. All right. Uh, Joel Lightbound, uh, good to talk to you tonight. Thanks for your time. Thank you.